D'Angelo Russell, he is explosive. He's already had five games in his career of over 40 points, one game of 52 points. Two on that mailing list. Ricky Rubio, I'll talk about him a little bit later, but a return to Minnesota. Russell, the southpaw, knocks it in, and he can get it going in a hurry, that is for sure. Baca reels in the loose ball. Batum. And a clear path to the rim, just a little spin and lays it home. Three for nine on the season. Ibaka yeah, pretends to shoot the three, gives to Beverly in the corner, who does shoot the three. Dueling Banjos here in the first quarter. Fakes the three, drives around Ibaka, a bit out of control, or maybe a clever pass. Good ball movement for the Wolves. Rubio, rhythm dribble for three, back-to-back -back trays for Ricky Rubio. You usually don't see centers. I'm, I'm trying to figure out who might number two be on I'll that give list. you a hint he wore a Clippers uniform Russell a teardrop jumper George well game a catch with Beverly Beverly good look at a three and he gets his second triple of the night again a little bit of that elbow action Kennard competes for the rebound but it goes the way of Minnesota Malik Beasley and a floater goes for him on a clever shot has been an International competition since his teenage days. George finds a seam, drives the lane. Oh, reorganizes in mid-flight and lays it in and cuts the lead down to four. Jordan McLaughlin, a local kid out of Rancho Cucamonga, went to high school at Etiwanda. Feeds it to Nas Reed, and he powers it in with the right hand. A couple of undrafted guys. Three games last year for Minnesota. This is McLaughlin watched by Ibiza Zubac, who has just checked in. Now to Anthony Edwards, the number one overall pick. Shooting was the question. Clippers looking for their first lead tonight. In the Lou, and he lays it in. Six points in three minutes for Lou Williams, and the Clippers out in front, 27 to 25. Lou curls, catches, and connects. Ask and you shall receive. Lou Williams, nine points in four minutes. Just underway in this second quarter. Minnesota led by as many as nine. Russell knocks down the jumper. He has six. He and D'Angelo Russell, good friends, as Lou Williams fires and connects. And boy, he is showing signs of becoming radioactive. He is three for three. James, they got off to a 2 0 start. They won that game in Utah, lost Sunday to the Lakers. And Russell and Towns are, are friends, but they've only played three games together. Towns got injured shortly after. Russell's arrival, Lou trying to continue, and he does. He is radioactive, four for four. Lou Williams being one, and then D'Angelo Russell really is feeling it right now. Lou goes for the steal, stumbles. Lehman tries to drive and dish to Edwards and does, and Edwards knocks down another shot. A joyful interview, if you haven't. He is very quick-witted. He fires up another three. Who said his shot wasn't going down? Why would this team not be in contention for one of the playoff spots unless injuries build up during the year? Jackson holds the finish for effect and then reigns in the three. Minnesota led by nine in the first quarter. This is the largest lead for the Clippers. Lou to Kennard. Great look at a three. Straight as a string for Kennard. He has eight. Kennard feeling good, lets it fly. Rebound, man in the putback, and the Clippers have come to play in the first half. 51 to 39. Turn is close. How close? Tomorrow close? I don't know. Good play coming out of the inbound for the Timberwolves. Hernan Gomez flushes it in. Rubio lobs to Hernan Gomez. Ball deflected, recovered by man. There's that compact defense we were talking about. No look into Kennard. Reverse layup is good. What a play from Terrence Mann. Ibaka in the corner to Batum. Back to Surge. Double ball fake and punches it home with the right hand. Wasn't that fun basketball to watch? Four of five from the field. The one shot that he missed was a blocked three. Uh-oh. Into Ibaka. Deep in the paint. Deep in the well. And the Clippers lead 61-44. Rubio skips it to Beasley. Attacks on Ibaka. Clever shot by Malik Beasley. With all the bodies and hands in action, that's why dropping it or laying it, throwing that lob pass, they can find it that way. When you try to shuffle it off, it's hard to find it in the owner's hands. He's had to be a little bit patient. He would have had a wide open look. Give it up. 
Lou Williams ahead of the pack to the house and lays it in. Clippers by 70. Make big it part. Clippers by 20. The Beverly hit a few threes in that first half. George lobs it to Ibaka, makes the grab above the rim and lays it home. Close out by Colbert. And the Wolves come back the other way. Russell stop and pop three and he rips the cords 72 to 55. Did have a couple of two at days though, but yes, point made. Kennard for three. Boy, he continues to shoot the ball well tonight. Luke Kennard now with 13 on five of seven. Kennard inbounds to an unaware Ibaka, but he makes the recovery. George for three. Ten trays for the Clippers. 80 to 58 they lead. Batum, touch pass to Ibaka. Look out for bending rims in downtown LA. Clippers lead 82 to 58. As the Timberwolves have it, Clippers lead 82 to 58. By the way, I don't know if you know that Jamie was an extra in Greece too, looking her, doing her best pink lady. I didn't know that. Comes Paul George the other way. Will I spot Jamie in it? You might. Batum for three, knocks it in 85 61. Beasley. Rubio collides with Kennard, draws the foul, drops the bucket, and gets one more on the house. But every time he's on the floor, he's going to make the right decision. Here's George for an open three. Book it. 88-64 Clippers. I, I think quiet night so far for Paul George, but four of the five starters are in double figures. George, one of them, has 15. Give him 18. Everybody's fingerprints on the ball. This trip down a lob to him. Ibaka love from above, and the Clippers lead 96 to 68. Gets it to Lou, who just establishes position. Lou from the line to the lane to the rim, coming in a foul, and send that young man to the line. Lou was like a skeleton key, can unlock any defense, but misfires there. Two and a half to play. Minnesota rebounds. Clippers lead 99 to 71. Another tray by Russell. To no one. Man, no. Zubats. Yes! 103-74. Ivica Zubats with 10 points, three blocks, and three rebounds tonight. Good ball movement here for the Clippers in transition. Jackson with a crossover and a reverse. Oh, put that in the highlight reel. Mr. Jackson. Consecutive season. Wolves have that opportunity as well. They opened up the year last year, 3-1. and one. Kennard, he's ambidextrous, left hand, right hand, and he has been all systems go. Clippers defense recovers. Rubio off balance and knocks it in. Ricky Rubio is 5 of 7. He has 15 points. 1184 Clippers out in front. Under 9 to play in this one. Kennard to Coffey. Open for 3. Let's it fly. Instant brew off the bench. Gelly gets it back. Feeds back now to Coffey. Oturu. He's got good touch. Exhibit A right there. I feel really bad if I meet him for the first time. He says, I know who you are. I said, what are you on that? that game from 40 years ago. It's funny. A little scrappy play here. One of my favorite things to do, especially early on in the season. Big time finish from Vanderbilt. Wow, respect. He'll go to the line for another old-fashioned three-point play. Well, the attitude was a good one, I thought. Everybody just... Washed it away. They didn't harp on it, and they knew that they would have another opportunity tonight, and they took full advantage. Speaking of taking advantage, Reggie Jackson, 10 points for him, will sound with the Clippers winning for the third time in four games, and all three of their wins have had 20 points.